Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to show you, we're going to make um, a nice summer sausage and it's going to be a smoky pineapple onion sausage. Now we're going to start off with some pineapple. Now I'm making a small batch of uh, sausage. I'm not going to make a lot of it. So I've got about uh, half a small, a small to medium pineapple that I cut in and this is a nice ripe sweet pineapple if you could get your pineapple nice and sweet this is even better so I'm gonna roast about half of it and if uh, I have too much well you could always pop that pineapple in your mouth and not have anything go wasted it's gonna be delicious anyhow so we're gonna roast this in the oven until it gets nice and golden and we're going to put it in, let me see, bake. I'm going to put it in a 430, 430 oven. My oven is a convection oven. Uh, so I think there's about a 25% difference. But basically what you want, you could even do this. If you don't want to do it in the oven, you could also do this in a pan on your burner. Just don't burn them. Just get them nice and golden. If they're charred a little, that's all right too, because it's going to add to the flavor. So we're going to put this in the oven and we're just going to drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on top. We're going to crack a little bit of salt on this and we're just going to get this going and then when we're ready to make the sausage we'll have those nice and ready. Meanwhile, while these go in the oven, we're going to take one onion and we're going to cut them in, uh, in cubes and we're going to just cook them in a pan on the burner till they're nice and golden. There we go. And again, it depends on how much you're making. I'm going to make... Um, I'm going to make a small amount, I guess maybe a cup, a cup and a half of vital wheat gluten. So I'm going to cut my onions. I'm just going to dice it. They don't have to be perfect, guys. And we're going to cook them until they're almost candied. And this is really going to add a nice flavor to the sausage. And what it does is also it breaks up the fibers of the uh, the gluten so it won't be uh, so dense. It'll be more of a nice tender sausage when you eat it because of the because of the onions that's going to separate the gluten strands. But it's going to hold up nicely inside. So I'm going to put this in a pan, a small pan. I don't need a big one. And we're going to put a little bit of olive oil. And we're going to put just a little bit of maple for now. We will be adding extra maple later to the meat. But just enough that it's going to help our onions get nice and golden. And let me tell you, this is really, really good. So if you're doing summer barbecues, we're just starting our summer year. If you're doing summer barbecues, this sausage is going to be a big hit for you, I promise you. We're going to add a little bit of steak. This is Montreal Steak Spice. Don't need a lot. We're going to put now, if you want it with some heat, you're going to put some chili. And if you don't want it spicy, leave the spice at all if you have kids. But this one here, I will make a nice little spicy one because this is going to be great for my husband's lunches too. Now, how much heat is really up to you guys. There we go. And I'm going to put just a little bit of liquid smoke to this and then I will add more liquid smoke to, the, uh, to my sausage. I'm going to be using a mesquite. But if you have um, if you have a different smoke that you prefer, you could go ahead with that. 
and it's gonna be a nice smoky pineapple almost like you're eating pineapple and ham okay so I'm gonna cut another half an onion why not who says that we have to limit ourselves right there we go so anyhow I was trying to say that yesterday my daughter and I went mushroom hunting and just to see, I know that the morels were finished. The season is done. But we just wanted to see if there was anything out there. Well, let me tell you guys, we found chicken of the woods. And that's going to be the only chicken this family is ever going to eat. And hopefully I shall have a video for you when we found them and a recipe. And what to look out for, guys. So if you haven't gone out mushroom hunting, I say do so. And learn some edible mushrooms that you could actually pick up and are safe for you to eat. This one's hard to miss, but I am excited to show you a recipe. Apparently, it tastes like chicken and it feels like chicken. Now, I haven't had chicken in over 11 years, so we'll see what that's going to be like. Hopefully it doesn't taste so much like chicken. So here we are. We're just going to brown these up. And we're going to get them nice and candy. Because so that's going to add a lot of flavor to our sausage. You could put this, um, you could put your onions um, not fried, but it won't have the same flavors as if you're going to fry your onions. So do take the time to fry them. And don't burn them, just put them on a lower heat if you have to. I'm lowering my heat and just get them nice and golden. Okay, meanwhile, what we're going to do is prepare our, um, our gluten. But this recipe is not going to be just gluten. So I am going to show you what else I'm going to do. There we go. We're going to add one cup of vital wheat gluten. There we go. And notice my cups are never precise, guys. There's always like a little mound to it. Somehow, more is always better for me. Okay. And we're going to add, there we go, we're going to have half a cup, sorry, half a cup of large flaked oats. Whatever I do guys, it's going to be marked so you want to cut this recipe in half, you can. Okay, I just want to show you my onions, by the way. This is what they look like. And this is one and a, one and a half onions. And they're getting nice and golden. I did put some chili, salt, and olive oil with some maple and some, um, some liquid smoke. Now, the, uh, the maple, what the maple does is actually it helps it get nice and golden. So there we go, they're almost done. I can actually turn that off. Okay, so we've got one. You know what, we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna put one cup of, um, one cup of vital wheat gluten, half a cup of the large flakes. There we go. And we're gonna put a quarter cup of the quick oats where they're nice and crushed and that's going to be our mixture my onions are done i'm going to leave these to cool off my pineapple is cooking okay time to make more mushroom powder okay so we've got one heaping two Three mushroom powder. 
And to this, we're gonna add some agar. We're gonna put one kind of heaping tablespoon of agar. That's gonna help make our sausage nice and firm. I'm gonna give this a good mix. Perfect. Okay, to this we're gonna put one tablespoon of, here we go, one tablespoon of Cajun spice. Now you don't have to put Cajun if you wanna use like a chicken, um, a full chicken um, powder you can, or if you wanna use beefless you can, it's really up to you. But we're gonna make these nice and spicy. And again, if you're using Cajun and you don't want it too spicy, leave out the spice with the onions. But I am using one tablespoon. We're gonna put two pinches of black pepper. And that's gonna probably be it for that. So I'm gonna wait till everything is uh, cooled off and my pineapple is uh, grilled. And then we're gonna add that to this with some other ingredients and we're gonna make some delicious sausage that you could throw on the grill in the summer and your friends are gonna be in awe. They're gonna love, love, love these sausages. Plus, they're not completely, uh, I know a lot of people don't wanna eat that much gluten. So it is almost like a half and half. So instead of having a whole sausage of gluten, it's gonna be half gluten and half is gonna be out of oats. So you're, cut, you're kind of cutting back on the gluten. And this recipe is for the people that don't wanna eat as much gluten. But if you want, your sausage to be all gluten go ahead and replace uh, the rest of this um, the rest of the ingredients with gluten flour that's really up to you but this will give it a nice texture so even if you're um, even if you're okay with gluten give this a try because you really will like this Okay, there's my onions last time just to show you how beautiful and transparent they are and it is going to be delicious we're going to put this in with our sausage we're going to put a little bit of salt and I'm going to see you in a little bit guys once the pineapple is done and cooled off we will add the rest of the ingredients Okay, so here are my pineapple. They're nice and golden. I love using my cast iron because it picks up all the flavors of whatever I cooked in there, such as potatoes, onions, garlic. So if you don't have a cast iron, guys, I suggest you get one because you will love it. Plus, uh, ca uh, cast irons give you also iron for your body. So there you go. They're nice and golden. These are gonna cool off and then I'm gonna cut these up in tiny little pieces and we're gonna put our sausage together. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, so we are back. There we go. There's our pineapple, our onion. Okay, we're gonna take our, let me just move this over. We're gonna take our pineapple and we are going to chop it. Right on this board. There we go. Let me just push this over for now. Right there. Sorry guys, I'm always shaking you, right? Okay, so we're just going to chop it down. You don't want to make them too big and you don't want to make them too small either. And that looks perfect for me because as we toss it, it's gonna get broken up a little more. So this looks good. If you wanna just give it one more shot, don't over make it too, don't make it too, too tiny or too big. There we go. This looks good. Okay, now, mm, my God, that's gonna be good. Okay, let me just clean my hands. I have my steamer ready. Now, if you don't have a steamer, 
uh, obviously you're going to use um, if you don't have sorry I'm, I've got my pressure cooker if you don't have a pressure cooker you're going to use a steamer okay there we go pineapples in get all those flavors in there and we're going to add our onion this is going to be really good there we go we've got onion along with whatever oil you have that's in there that's oil maple just throw it all in we will add more oil now I know a lot of people are into not using too much oil but, but whatever juice pineapple juice uh, a lot of people don't want to use too much uh, oil then leave it out but a little bit of fat in the sausage is also going to brown your sausage nicely so it's not going to kill I am going to put on a glove and mix it by hand but for now I just want to give it a quick toss there we go Now, we are going to add extra maple to this because it's going to be um, kind of a Swedish, not too sweet, but it's going to be a little sweet, but not too much either because you don't want to, because the pineapple is sweet already. You don't want to do, uh, maybe I'll wait till, I'm going to add some cheese first. Here we go. And you can follow any of my cheese recipes. This is my mozzarella. But if you don't have any cheese handy, I would say uh, just go out and buy it. This is nice. I had it in the freezer. I defrosted it just for a little bit, just so that it's easier to great and there we go I'm telling you you guys are gonna love this recipe we're gonna add olive oil I'd say about oh wrong olive oil there we go not much as you can see there's hardly any in the bottle so I would say one maybe two three tablespoons of olive oil there we go we're going to add just a little bit of maple maybe another two teaspoons of maple and we're going to add where's my liquid smoke here we go it's almost like a pineapple and ham sausage so we're going to add a little bit of mesquite Okay, I'm just going to push this aside so I can grate my beet. Where did I put it? There it is. Okay, now you don't have to. If you want, you can use your powder. It really is up to you. I'm doing this so it just can add a little bit of color. You don't have to. It also does add a little bit of flavor. You can leave it if you don't want to put the beet don't bother putting it in and I'm using about half of a small beet there we go not much just for that little added color to your recipe and I'm grating it rather than putting it in a food processor or in my Nutribullet there we go and that's just going to add just a little bit of color to it pull up my sleeves okay I'm just going to slowly mix this see how it's already starting to add some color and to this we're going to add milk now I don't have any milk powder I am using just milk out of the carton 
course, vegan milk. We're not going to hurt the cows. You know, I could have put the whole bead in here. But I won't. I'll just do half. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to try and tell you how much milk I use. Okay, we're going to start off with one third cup of almond milk. And you don't want uh, vanilla milk. Make sure your milk is. Make sure that your milk doesn't have any flavor. And we're going to just keep mixing. I might be okay with that little bit. Maybe just a couple of drops more. There we go. You're going to love this sausage, guys, I promise you. Yeah, maybe I'll just grate a little more beet to this. Let's see, I'll do it right in the bowl. So play by ear with the beet, see how much you want, really. Okay, we're going to add some more liquid smoke to this for sure. And you know what the best part about vegan food? You could actually take a bit of it and taste it. Mm, God, this is going to be amazing, guys. You're going to love it. Okay. Liquid smoke. I would say maybe a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. As much as you like, guys. And that's it. All we needed was one third cup of one third cup of milk. That's all you needed. I would add definitely some more olive oil. There we go. And that's it. These are ready to be wrapped and to be cooked. Now, like I said, I am using a pressure cooker. But if you don't have a pressure cooker, uh, you could just use a steamer. And if you don't have a steamer, you can wrap them and put them in your oven. But they will come out a little drier for sure. In the oven, I'm sure it's going to come out a little drier. But you do want to steam them. You do not want to boil these. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap it. I'm going to use parchment paper because we're trying to stay away from plastic. Right, guys? Okay, that belongs in there. I'm making a mess. Okay, let me just clear off my counter. I knew I forgot something. I forgot, guys. My head is not always working. Okay, a little bit of mustard. I'd say maybe a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. There we go. And this is what you call my pineapple ham sausage. If you find it's too wet for you, you could always sprinkle a little extra gluten or a little extra uh, oat flakes. Uh, we're trying to do less gluten, but if you find that your sausage is not uh, sticking right, just a little bit of gluten is going to fix that problem. But these should be perfect. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to push this aside. And we're going to wrap these. Now, you know how I wrapped them. I used to wrap them in plastic, but because now we're trying to do the best we can to not put plastic out on our planet, we are simply going to use parchment paper and then aluminum paper. Yes, people are telling me aluminum is bad too, but... We need to hold these sausages together. I'd rather hold it with that than hold them with animals intestines, right? I tried buying that casing. By the way, there's a casing. There's somebody who's selling casing. But uh, unfortunately, it always expands. The sausage always expands and then it breaks. So, so much for that. So I'm going to take this parchment paper and I am going to divide it 
in smaller pieces. There we go. Oh, that's not going to work for me. I do have some that I... Yes, call me crazy. Okay. I cooked potatoes with this yesterday, so... Still good. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you how I do it. Now, sausage is really up to you. How big do you want your sausage? Do you want a super big sausage about that size? Do you want to make them more like hot dogs? It really is up to you how big you want to make your sausage. So I use a scooper. There we go, ice cream scooper. And then, here we go. I just form my sausage as big as I want. If you find it's too big, just knock off some on the end. And there you go. You can make them as small or as big as you want. Okay. What I normally do, guys, now... Like I said, this is what I do. You are your own chef in your own kitchen, right? I do put a little bit of oil. And what that does is it just helps the sausage do its little magic. So we roll them up. It's not the first time you've seen me do this. Knock it over this way, this way. Roll it again. And then we use... Our aluminum paper. There we go. Roll, roll, roll. Squeeze on this end, twist, and then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze until you get it nice and firm, but not too firm because. It will expand a little. There we go. Knock this over. And there is our first sausage. So there you go. This is how I make them. Or you can use them length with this way. Leave it kind of open on the end. I'll show you. Sausage. nice long sausage like this roll 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 Tighten that package. There we go. Sausage number two. And try and get them as close to size as you can. Not that it makes a difference really if one sausage is bigger or one sausage is smaller. Unless you've got people in your family that says, well, why does she get more? Because they're so good that they're going to want more I promise you so I'm gonna continue wrapping this and I'm gonna put them in my steamer I'm gonna cook them one hour in my steamer and uh, if you uh, sorry my pressure cooker not my steamer one hour in my pressure cooker um, it could even go maybe 30 minutes and these will cook uh, and then I'm just gonna let the pressure cooker do its own thing and release its own steam so it stays in there a little longer. Um, but if you're using uh, one of those Chinese 
uh, steamers, you know, the baskets that you can stack one on top of the other. You could use that, but make sure they steam for at least 60 minutes. I might do only 30 in here because it's a pressure cooker. But in a steamer, you want to do at least 60 minutes, guys. And that's how you're going to make these sausages. And I am going to use last night's nice parchment paper. It still has mustard and maple on this. But I'm not going to waste that paper. There we go. Let's put it this way. We try to reuse as much as we can. I even washed this, believe it or not. Oh my God, you guys are going to call me cheap. But I hate to throw things away in the garbage because I am trying to make the least amount of gar oh, garbage as possible. Okay, if you see a big piece of pineapple sticking up, just shove it in. You want to get that all in there. And here we go. Roll, roll, roll. And like I said, by using that ice cream scooper, it's perfect for measuring the sausages. So push in, roll, push in, get it as tight as you can. Twist. And then twist this end. And we have another sausage. Instead of buying hot dogs, guys, make this for your family. They're going to love, love, love it. Now, if you're okay with plastic, I would say don't use plastic. I used to use plastic. we got to stop with that plastic. It's a mess. Okay, so we're going to get at least eight sausages with this, uh, depending how big they are. If you want to make them super skinny... Obviously, you're going to get more sausage, but you want to get them like a nice big fat sausage and get those nice big buns to put those sausages in and then dress them up how you want. You could grill them outside on the barbecue or you can uh, put them in the oven or even in a skillet. Remember, vegan food's already cooked. All you have to really do is reheat it. So I'm going to continue wrapping these and then I'm going to show you what they look like. And stay tuned because I'm going to be making lots of different summer sausages for you guys. They're getting out. They're starting to feel it. Our little robins 
glue the nest. Okay, a little bit of olive oil. And guys, you have to come back and just come and tell me how much you love these because I know you're going to love it. Mm, this is a real big sausage. This is going to be for my hubby. There we go. Roll, roll, roll. Okay. Squeeze down, roll, squeeze down. It was easier with the plastic, that's for sure. But what a mess. Plastic is destroying our oceans. Did I break that paper? Do I have to get a new one? Okay. Hope I didn't break that paper. We shall see if one opens up. Okay, more paper, more aluminum. So you ready? Because I'm going to have a lot of different sausages for you guys. Summer sausages. I'll be posting more. and show you all the different sausages you can make. Plus, these are great because once they're cooked, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, here we go. Little sausage. Maybe that sausage is for me. So, okay, how many do we get? We've got two, three, five. Yeah, I, eight sausages. Eight sausages and a little tester. So there we go. I'm going to put them to steam. So what I do is once they're cooked, and if you've made like double the batch or you've made way too many sausage, I just get a small plastic bag and... Um, and I don't bring home plastic bags. These are bags that I wash or those uh, plastic bags that I get the flyers from, which I can't seem to stop. They seem to come to my door all the time. But I just mark uh, either apple sage on it or uh, pineapple and onion cheese. And then I just throw them in with the aluminum paper right into the plastic bag, tie it, mark it, date it, however you want to do it, and then in the freezer. And if you have a craving and you want to eat a sausage and you don't want to pull out a whole bunch you just could pull out one and then let it defrost and you've got sausage for lunch or whatever very easy to store so I am going to cook these and then I'm going to come back and show you how they look like okay guys we're back here we go there we go we're going to unwrap these and I'm going to show you what they look like Beautiful, beautiful sausages. I'm going to save the paper and wash it. This way I can reuse it again. I know, call me cheap, but I'm thinking about the planet. I just have to find out where the beginning is. Here it is. And there is our beautiful sausage. Now I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in a pan. And we're going to get them nice and golden. And then we're going to put them in some buns. So how fast and how easy was this recipe? go guys just serve this maybe with some corn on the side a nice salad and that is dinner so I hope you like this video guys and if you give this a try come back let me know how you like it and stay tuned because 
I'm gonna have more sausage. Summer sausages, guys. You're gonna love them all. I'll see you in my next video, guys. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.